Welcome to a video about the MBS FileMaker plugin providing machine learning features in the FileMaker database using Apple's Core ML framework. For example, you can use machine learning to classify images. If you have already images with classification, you can train yourself a neural network and create your own model. Apple offers on the machine learning website a few models. For our test database, we use the ResNet50 model. Here. Simply download it and expand the archive. This is my photos example for this video. It is a nice little database to import images and automatically classify them. When I click the import button, I can select a few pictures and import them all. This uses a file dialog function in MBS plugin to get multiple files selected. As you see, all images got imported. The model recognized the image content and correctly shows Lakeside, Tusker and Three Frog. Let's try three more pictures. In the finder I have a picture folder so I can simply drag and drop files on the database window. As you probably noticed we use fu plugin functions to accept files by drag and drop. Those files got recognized correctly. Lion, Volcano and for the flower Daisy. Please note that the model just decides which is the closest matching class. This may not always be what you expect, especially if a new category is expected, which is not part of the model. When I click through the records, you see the preview of the full picture. This is not a container field, but an image view created by the MBS plugin. Now let's check the scripts. The script to initialize does currently only initialize drag and drop. And this is a script to import via file dialog. We reset options, then define our options for multiple selection with prompt and message. When the user clicks OK in the import dialog, we get an OK here and can check the file passes. The loop here queries each path and creates a new record for each image. It calls the script to detect and then continues with the loop. This script initializes drag and drop for file drops on the whole window. When a new file arrives, the drop action script is called. So let's take a look there. When images are dropped, we do the same as in the import script. We loop over the list of the paths, import each image, and then detect the content using the detect script. The script to initialize core ML first checks if it was initialized before and frees an existing model. Next we check whether core ML is available. If the model is not yet compiled, we do the compilation and then use the pass of the compiled version. Here we open the model. If it fails, we show an error message. Else we can show the description text of the model unless we are asked it to run silently. The next script detects the image content. First, if the model is not loaded, we load it on demand. 
Next, we scale down the image, as this model requires a certain picture size of 224 pixels in both directions. We store the image as a PNG in a variable and then free it from memory. We clear the parameters and add our image as a parameter. Then we run the prediction. On failure we show a dialog and a success we put the class in the field. The next three scripts here are triggered to show hide the image view. First the script to close image view in case of the layout being closed. This script creates an image view if needed. The size of the image view depends on the size of the window. Works nice this way. The script to update the image view when a new record is selected just passes the image to the plugin function to update the image view. And that's it. You can download the database and of course we include it in future plugin updates. So let's just test three more pictures. And here we got some mountains, we got a cliff and zebras. With a few modifications this could run on iOS too. And if you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.